priority one through this whole thing, of course, keeping your family safe, keeping yourself safe. But let's be honest, hairstyles are going to suffer. Salons and spas have been forced to close indefinitely. Christina Van Zels with their reaction and one salon owner's clever way of keeping her clients looking as good as possible. Saturdays are usually bustling. It's a quiet day at the salon. It's strange to see it so quiet. As salons in Wisconsin shut their doors amidst the coronavirus outbreak. This after Governor Evers declares an emergency order banning non-essential gatherings of more than 10 people. Now, hair and nail salons, spas, barber shops, tattoo parlors, and tanning facilities have to close their doors until further notice. The moment that we stop serving our guests, that has an immediate impact. Tailored salon co-owner Laura Graven says the impact is big for both employees and clients, but is ready for when they can reopen. When we do come back, obviously our books will be more open than they typically are. A Waukesha hairdresser also ready to serve clients, but will miss the camaraderie while her shop is closed. Once we're through this, I think we're going to be very busy. I think we're going to, you know, make up for lost time. I've had a few of my women clients call because they're freaking out. They can't get in for their appointments for who knows how long. No salon? That's no problem for a Shorewood hairstylist. This color is currently for a client that is a regular of mine. Jackie Seppi offering customized hair color delivery kits. If they can't leave their home, then we can bring it right to their door and it's customized to match their perfect color. The owners here at Tailored Salon say their focus right now is staying connected to those clients however they can until they're able to open their doors again. Reporting in Milwaukee, Christina Van Zelst, Fox 6 News. And of course, it's not just hairdressers feeling the pinch for a list of businesses affected by the closures. Head to fox6now.com.